Hey guys, this is an introduction video to a couple of short, uh, about 3-4 video series about uh, XHTML. Now, before I start talking about XHTML, let's look at this HTML document. We have a doc type declaration of HTML 4.01 transitional, and we have the usual HTML head and the body tags, and inside that we have a couple of tags and text. Now, if we save our work, or technically I've already saved it and put it in my browser, we see this. So the header tag is working properly, the paragraphs are working properly, so we have two paragraphs with space in between, and this line break is working properly as well, you can see here. However, although these uh, tags are working fine in the browser, these uh, HTML is dirty because for one let's look at each of them for one look at our header tag the h1 tag or the h in particular for both the start tag and the end tag is in uh, big or capital letters now uh, it is recommended in html or e uh, when we are learning html we are taught to use small capital uh, small letters for our tags, so H, P, uh, A, B, R, everything, we need to make sure that it's in small h. So this is a dirty HTML or a bad HTML. Now let's look at our P tags. Now we have a paragraph, this is a paragraph tag, and we have another p tag, this is another paragraph tag, which is working fine as we can see over here that there's the first paragraph tag created a space as well as the second one created a space. However, these tags don't have an end tag. Now this still works in HTML, but this is ugly, dirty, bad HTML, which you shouldn't do. Now, Oh, also without the end tag, some HTML tags don't even work, so don't even bother trying to you write HTML without uh, having pair tags. So basically, you always must must write the end tag. Now over here we have a, f uh, a set of p tags. We have a start tag and an end tag, so it's fine. Both p's are in small letters, so it's fine. However, the problem is this line break tag. Now, uh, for if we look at our web browser, we can see that the line break actually worked because uh, it's not mandatory to have uh, a closing in HTML. We don't have to close our tag all the time in HTML. However, this is still uh, a dirty HTML, bad HTML, and what we must do always is actually close it with our forward slash, yeah I think it's a forward slash is it? With our slash, just like our end tag. So for example, uh, if we have an image tag with a source of something, we must always close it like so, as well as our uh, uh, HR tag. Let's save it and refresh. Yeah, our horizontal line tag. We must, although it still works, kinda, without closing it, just with like this, look, which looks like a stat tag. Although it still kinda works, we must, as a good practice, use the forward slash to close our tag like this. Now, XHTML, basically is a stricter version of HTML <coughs> excuse me and XHTML stands for extensible hypertext markup language and it's basically almost 90% 99% identical to the 4. Point, uh, HTML 4.0.1 so it's identical so it's literally the same thing as the HTML I've taught you in the HTML tutorial playlist. However, 
HTML, XHTML is a stricter and the cleaner version of HTML 4.0.1. And the reason why there's an X in front of the HTML is because X HTML is basically HTML defined as an XML application. Now XML is another completely different uh, markup language if I should call it. It's, it's a completely different language so if you're interested in XML uh, Google it and read a couple pages on it, uh, watch some videos. I'll be making some XML tutorials uh, later on but not now. So if you're interested you could actually Google XML and have a look what it is. But H XHTML is basically a strict clean version of HTML. Now what uh, in my next video I would actually start writing some XHTML uh, with within this HTML document. So I'll change the doc type decoration, I'll add one line uh, here and I'll clean change all these dirty bad HTML into cleaner stricter XHTML. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.